Hello, everyone. Welcome to SAGES. This is a talk for our adult surgeons. So many of, many of you come out of residency, go into practice, and you continue to operate on patients under 18. And this uh, group of distinguished pediatric surgeons is the SAGES Pediatric Committee, and we are here to give you some tips and tricks and some safe ways to continue taking care of the under 18 patient in your practice. My name is Dr. Danielle Walsh. I have nothing to disclose. So why are we giving this talk? Well, actually there was very little data until very recently about how many adult surgeons continue operating on children. But there was a paper published earlier this year from North Carolina that was able to look at this very issue. And they looked at all surgical hospital discharges, including ambulatory surgery for patients under 18 years of age, and cross-checked the billing physician by their specialty. And they defined a pediatric surgeon as anyone who had a fellowship. And what they found is 44.6% of the cases were done by a pediatric surgeon, but 32.5% were done by general surgeons. And so the purpose of this talk is to help support our general surgeons in caring for those patients. When they looked at the type of cases that were done, uh, the younger patients were largely done by our pediatric surgeons, and the general surgeons were taking care of a largely older and adolescent population. Surprisingly, more cholecystectomies are done in patients under 18 in North Carolina by adult surgeons than by pediatric surgeons. Likewise, they do more than half of the pilonidals, more than half of the appendectomies. They do nearly half of the gastrostomy tubes and a smaller percentage continuing downward, but even 11% of pyloromyotomies are done by adult surgeons. And so with that in mind, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how to choose the right location and the right surgeon for the, for the child. In many cases, we believe a general surgeon is, in fact, the right surgeon. And a lot of it will depend on your location, your community, transportation for the patient, support systems uh, within your hospital to ensure patient-centered care is given. And so with that in mind, we'll have some talks today. Um, the first will be on pediatric hernias by Dr. Stefan Schultz. Uh, next, we'll go into fundoplications, biliary disease, pyloric stenosis, appendicitis, and an overall talk about safe systems of surgical care. We hope you'll enjoy this, and at the end, we'll open the floor to any questions you might have about how to uh, implement this in your practice. And with that, I'll call Dr. Stefan Schultz to the podium to talk about pediatric hernias. Dr. Schultz comes to us from the University of Pittsburgh. 